So there was an amendment um, today that uh, would have been considered on the budget bill that, that I have sponsored along with others. And it would restore funding to West Virginia University and Marshall University. Some, some in the body are gonna say that Marshall and WVU are gonna get a windfall from COVID money. So they don't need money in the budget. They sh that they, that they can, we can go ahead and cut it, their budgets substantially. I think 11 or 12 million for WVU and $6 million for Marshall University. So it is very, to my view, very short-sighted when it seems to me we have over $70 million in the budget that's un un unaccounted for or unallocated. Why in the world would we send a message to the world that we are going to not value higher education? That we're gonna scrimp on our investment in higher education? Why would we send a message that we don't mind raising the tuition that's gonna be paid by the students from our state that will be educated at those institutions? Student debt is a huge, huge, huge problem. Everybody's struggling. Our state is in trouble. When you have two beacons of light, what message does that send? What message does that send, Mr. President, that we don't value them? I wanna have the debate in here. I, wanna, I want people to stand up when we get to my amendment. And I wanna hear them. I wanna hear each of you that would oppose this. Because I'm told the amendment is probably gonna fail. And uh, I hope that's bad information. But we're gonna have that someday, soon we're gonna have the debate. And it's gonna be in front of the people of the state. And they're gonna decide, they're gonna decide what kind of a job we're doing here, what kind of an example we're setting for the rest of this state. Thank you, Mr. President.